हेलो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टर्म इंटरनेट मेल आर्किटेक्चर व्हिच इज पार्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेल सिक्योरिटी द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन आर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू समराइज द की फंक्शनल कंपोनेंट ऑफ द इंटरनेट मेल आर्किटेक्चर इन वर्चुअली ऑल डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एनवायरमेंट्स electronic mail is the most heavily used network based application users expect to do be able to and do send email to others who are connected directly or indirectly to the internet regardless of host operating system or communication suite means here each and every user wish to send an email from one user to another user with the explosively growing reliance on email there grows a demand for authentication and confidentiality services so the internet mail architecture is currently defined in rfc 5598 as internet mail architecture in july 2009 let us see different email components present in internet mail architecture first is user world this user world is in the form of message user agent second is the transfer world which is in the form of message handling service the message handling service is composed of message transfer agent the message handling service accepts a message from one user and deliver it to one or more other users creating a virtual message user agent to message user agent exchange environment means message handling service is responsible for delivering a message to one or more uh, users internet mail architecture involves three types of interoperability one is directly between users that is it man, uh, messages must be formatted by the message user agent on behalf of the message author so that the message can be displayed to the message recipient by the destination message user agent means here there is a source message user agent and destination message uh, user agent uh, the source message user agent must format a message and that the same message must be displayed to the destination message user agent Uh, at the receiver side uh, so the first connection is between source mua to destination mua then in between there is a uh, message user agent and the message handling service uh, the first interoperate interoperability uh, when a message is posted from message source message user agent to message handling service and then again later it is delivered from message handling service to the destination message user agent so the interoperability is required among the message transfer agent which is the component of message handling service and it uh, th this mta components along the transfer path through the mhs that is message handling service let us see the internet mail service architecture in detail now as i told there is a source user and there is a destination user the source user wish to send a message uh, to the destination user so here the message author is a source author the message is prepared by message author and uh one imp the main uh, message user agent plays an important role on behalf of message author so it operates uh, mua operates on behalf of user actors and user applications it is their representative within the email service so typically this function is housed in the user's computer and is it is referred to as a client email program or a local network email server the author mua formats a message and performs initial submission to the message mail submission agent so formatting of the message is done by mua and it is submitted to the mail submission agent the mail submission agent 
accepts the message submitted by source message user agent and it enforces the policy of hosting domain and the requirement of internet standard this function may be located together with message user agent or as a separate functional model so here the smtp or extended smtp protocol is used for submission of a message from message user agent to message submission agent then the message submission agent submits the message to message transfer agent this message transfer agent relays mail for one application level hop it is like a packet switch or ip router in that its job is to make routing assessment and to move the message closer to the recipient so here multiple message transfer agent are used which routes the message through the network and which uh, sends the message nearer to the destination so this relaying is performed by a sequence of mtas until the message reaches to destination mail delivery agent that is called as mda so the source message is formatted by mua message user agent which is submitted to mail submission agent mail submission agent submits the message to message transfer agent various message transfer agent transfers the message through the network uh, to the nearest mail delivery agent so the multiple message transfer agents mail submission agent and mail delivery agent forms the message handling service as shown here then the mail delivery agent is responsible for transferring the message from this message handling service to the message store so now the mail delivery agent will transfer that message to the message store now message store is uh, it is an message user agent uh, can employ a long term message store so an message store can be located on remote server this ms can be on uh, remote server or on the same machine uh, as the mua so typically an mua retrieves the message from the remote server using the uh, imap or uh, pop protocol that is pop is post office protocol or inter uh, imap is internet message access protocol so the destination mua as shown here this destination mua will take the message from the message store which may be located at remote server or may be located at the local server whenever that recipient will be available the message will be reach to the destination mua so this is all about internet mail architecture where the source uh, message author sends a message through message handling service to the destination message author or this is the message recipient and this is the source of the message so this is how the internet mail architecture works now let us pause the video and write down your answer for what are different internet architecture components so the different internet architecture components are message user agent which is present at both sides source and destination side then message submission agent which accepts the message from the source message user agent and delivers it to the message transfer agent then message transfer agent transfer or routes the message through the network and submits it to uh, 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 submit it to the mail delivery agent and this mail delivery agent is now responsible for transferring the message from message handling service to the message store and the recipient will get the message from this message store uh, at the destination side now along with this there are some other concepts first is administrative management domain that admd is an internet email provider each admd can have different operating policies and trust based decision making 
So, one obvious example is the destination between mail that is exchange within uh, an organization and a mail that is exchange between independent organization. So, the rule for handling the two types of traffic tend to be a quite different. The second is domain name service. It is a directory lookup service that provides a mapping between the name of the host on the internet and its numerical address. Email protocols. There are two types of email protocols. Simple mail transfer protocol which is also called as SMTP and internet mail access protocol that is IMAP and post office protocol that is POP. So, SMTP is used to move message through the internet from the source to destination and IMAP and POP are protocol used to transfer message between mail server. The details of these two protocols we will study in next video. These are the references.